Hello, Jacob T. Weiner here. Today we're going to talk about how I booked about 25, I believe, partnership meetings with an hour of work using cold email. It's really, really cool how this worked out. I used advanced automation and scraping to do this. And if, by the way, if you want my help specifically with your outreach questions, I have a private Slack channel you can join. Link's in the description. We talk all about cold outreach, and uh, I actually shared this specific strategy here much earlier than it made it onto YouTube. You can see here I'm coaching people live. So if you want to join, go ahead and sign up down below. It's free to start, and uh, I can help you in the in the average department. So here's how we did this. As you can see here, this is my instantly campaign. I'm going to refresh so you can tell I'm not joking. Um, I got a 46, 46 responses, 5% reply rate, and this was with no personalization, but these were almost all interested. Um, so here's how I did it. Essentially, I work at this company called Service Bell, which is uh, a next generation live chat platform. We sell specifically to HubSpot customers, and I figured if I could get access to client lists of HubSpot consulting partners, that it might be a way for me to break into a lot of different accounts. So I, I started my search by looking for a list of HubSpot consulting partners, and HubSpot themselves actually have a marketplace, and this page, as you can see, has 1,700, almost 1,800 different HubSpot consulting partners. The problem is they all only have their their uh, their name, and there's no website, there's no LinkedIn, there's no email, so how do you take this and turn it into an outreach list with an, in an hour? So here's the first step. The first step is this thing called Browser Flow. This platform is 200 bucks a year. Uh, it's really cool. You can create basically browser automation. So in this case, I scraped all of the companies on this list. So here's how I did it. It's very simple. You click select list and you grab the companies. Then we're going to grab the name, company name. And I'll grab the number of reviews as well and or the review rating. Uh, whatever, fine. That's fine. I'll just go. That's fine. So let's click stop recording. You'll notice at the bottom of this page, there's like a way to click through and you can get to... Um, I don't know, up to like 20 something pages. So in order to scrape all of them at once, you go to the loop element and where it says uh, action to load more elements, you click link, click link and select the link you want, which is gonna be this one. And then what we should have is when we click start, as you can see, boom, here comes this list of companies and it's going page to page and it's grabbing all the different companies. So this, if I let, th let this run, within like a minute I'm gonna have 1,700 different companies that are all my target market that I'm trying to reach out to. So in your case, you'd have to, I'm gonna stop this. In your case, you'd have to find whatever page you, you wanna scrape or whatever data, database you're looking for, but for me, this is what I needed. So I have this now in a CSV. I can also connect it to Google Sheets if I want to, but for the sake of this example, I'll keep it in the CSV. And you can see here that I still only have a list of company names, so, and there's no website, there's no way to enrich them with people. So how do you take this and turn it into an actionable prospect list? Uh, we've got about, you know, how long have we been recording? We have 57 minutes left for my pitch to be to be true. So uh, here's the next step. We go to Clay. Clay is a really cool. This is, by the way, a link to sign up for Clay is in the description down below. I will get an affiliate commission, but I wouldn't be a good salesman if I didn't, right? So go ahead and click the, Clay, the link down below to sign up. Clay is solving the biggest problem in outbound sales development in the last 10 years. The issue is you either have a giant, super broad list where you have no control really who's in it and they're just kind of almost, it's like almost spammy, it's like ridiculous, right? Because Sales Navigator doesn't have good filters, Zoom Info is terrible, or you hire a VA and you pay them a ton of money and they're slow and they're horrible and they don't even do a good job and they're expensive, right? Or you do it yourself and it takes a long time and it's just hard. So. Clay solved that by bridging all these different providers together and lets you run really cool automation. So here's an example. So I'll show you the table that I made uh, with this database. So here it is. So I have a, I had a list of 1.7 thousand HubSpot consulting company names. That's it. So how do I take company names and turn them into an actionable prospect list? Well, you'll find out as soon as this is done loading. Okay, so we're back on the table. So. This is the finished product, but I originally only had a list of company names, and I scraped the number of reviews and the uh, the review rating. So, essentially, I Clay, you can do a lot of cool things. In this case, I wanted to take the company name, find their website based on the company name, and then use the website URL to then find the LinkedIn profile, because with Clay, you can take a website and then find the LinkedIn company page. And then from the LinkedIn company page, you can see employee count, you can see company description, you can see a lot of different things. Uh, and then you can go ahead and find the right people at that company and then find their email. So that's all within Clay, it's crazy. And that's just one use case, there's many different use cases. So here is the list of company names. So how did I find the website? 
So I ran their their Google search enrichment. You can search for Google right here in the, in, in the table. And I pulled back the top three search results uh, because usually what would come up would be the website of the company, LinkedIn company page, or the HubSpot page. And it was sometimes, it wasn't always in the same order. So I ran a search to get the top three results. And then I used a formula. You can use AI like ChatGPT to create essentially JavaScript uh, formulas to help parse data. But essentially what I said is to exclude LinkedIn and exclude HubSpot and, and only include the website. So I took the top three results from Google and I used a formula to decide which one was the actual website that I wanted. And you can see here, company website, this is the final product. Um, and as you can see, it pretty much was always on the money. So now I have a list of websites. So the next step was to find the company information. So I used the LinkedIn company enrichment uh, side and I fed it the company website. So with the company website, you can then go ahead and you can find the LinkedIn company page. So as you can see here, all of these companies were enriched with LinkedIn company data. I got the employee counts. Uh, and then I went ahead and I found their profile. Uh, I found the, I searched for anybody with CEO, founder, president, uh, partnerships, or anything like that in the, in the title because at an agency, you know, at a small agency, the CEO is the person you want to go after. So the find people enrichment search is LinkedIn, and as you can see here, I found two people. This person, Ian, is the founder, and this person is uh, a partner. Great. So over here, this found one person, president. Great. Over here, we found, uh, it's taking a while to load, here we go. We found the digital marketing, sales, and growth. Oh, sorry, the chief executive officer. She, CEO, the CEO, fine. So all these people, for each company, it would find one person, three, four, whatever. So I then basically took, let's say one company found three people. So then what you can do is you can take, right now in this row, this one row has four, this is kind of complicated, it's more of like a data science thing, but this cell actually contains four objects. As you can see here, it contains all four of these people. So what you can do is you can create a new table and make four different rows for each prospect. So right now it's one row for one company, but one company has four people. So you can create a new table with every, every single one of these people, which is what I did. I deleted that table though, so I can't show you. But essentially the next step is to take this person, I have the LinkedIn, now I have the LinkedIn URL, their name, their title, their location, and I can go ahead and say, uh, let's say I wanna find their phone number, mobile phone number, I can find their email. And then, last but not least, you can pipe all of this data into your outbound tool of choice, whether you're using out, uh, Outreach or Lemlist or whatever. I personally really like instantly for cold emails because instantly you can connect um, unlimited email domains into one platform and it'll send like 10 emails per domain or 20, but you can have a lot of emails going out without going to spam and all the responses go back into this unified inbox. And you can see here all the interested replies I got from this campaign. So, I mean, it was just pouring in full of, full of leads. Here's the script that I used. I essentially, I A-B tested two different scripts and the one that was the winner, looking for the right sequence, um, basically I was like, hey, I found you in HubSpot's ecosystem. This is the cool thing about the strategy. When you have a good prospecting strategy, your script writes itself. And I didn't have to personalize this email past the first name because the, the reason I reached out to every single one of these people and the way that I found them was always the same and it made sense. So I used this opener, had a 70 something percent open rate. I said, I'm with Service Bell. All of our customers are on HubSpot. So I immediately tied it back to the reason I reached out. Um, and then I kind of used, I will say, I did kind of use like a little bit of a baity thing. I said, are, are you cu curious if you're open to helping them configure HubSpot for us? Would love to send and receive referrals. Let me know if it's worth explaining further. Follow up email, touching base and looking for an agency that can help our customers with HubSpot, answer questions, refer us customers, uh, and then whatever. So. A lot of them probably booked calls because they wanted access to our customers. Here's the thing. We actually do need help with our HubSpot consulting, with, with our HubSpot integration. I think having an expert help us would have been valuable. And I also made it clear that I wanted them to send us referrals. And a lot of the leads that got back to me said in the response, like, hey, you know, I'd love to send you referrals. So, and we actually already closed a deal from one of these, one of the referrals. So it actually turned to revenue, not just meetings, our return to revenue. This is an experiment I was running and it was pretty successful. So the main point of this video was just to show you the power of clay and the power of scraping. There's a lot more you can do with ChatGPT and clay, which I'm gonna show you in future videos. But essentially I took a list of 1700 companies and you can see here it's been 10 minutes. It took me a bit longer to figure this out as 
I was doing it, but it took me 10 minutes start to finish to show you the entire process, and I pitched you on my private Slack channel, which you should totally join. It's like 10 bucks a month, and you get insane tips like this, right? 10 bucks a month. It's so worth it. You're going to make your money back 100,000 times if you join the channel, uh, and you get to see... You get to ask me questions, fine. I would also check out Clay, link in the description. It's an insane platform. It's a little bit hard to use if you're not good at prospecting. You have to be okay at data science and know how to prospect and be okay with low-code platforms. But if you're if you're wise, if you, if you know what you're doing, this platform is insanely powerful. And if you don't, you'd rather just pay me to do it for you. That's also totally cool. I'm happy to help with that as well. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video. Go ahead and sign up for the Slack community. I'll see you inside. Bye-bye.